A tall statue that has stood on the front lawn of St. Catherine City Hall for over 100 years will soon be removed. As Eric Fiano reports, councillors voted in favor of taking it down due to its impact on members of the Indigenous community. The statue of Alexander Watson towers over downtown St. Catharines, but its days are numbered. The statue commemorates a soldier uh, that fell at the Battle of Batoche, which was a part of what used to be called the Northwest Rebellion, what we now call the Northwest Resistance. Jessica Riel Johns is one person who has been calling for the statue's removal. I do have a direct connection to the statue. My ancestor is Louis Riel. Louis Riel was a Métis leader, founder of Manitoba, and a central figure in the Northwest Resistance in 1885. Watson fought against Riel. Well, the statue is, is a sign of oppression, right? Um, you know, my ancestor did fight to protect Indigenous um, people um, and ultimately pays a price. Uh, he was seen as a traitor of the country um, and then ultimately hung. Riel Johns works just across the street from where the statue is located at James and Church Streets. She says that every time she walks by it, it's a painful reminder. It's kind of somber for me, right? Because I know what it's about. I know what was behind it. Yesterday, City Council voted 12 to 1 to remove the statue. The motion was brought to council by Mayor Matt Sisko. We've come to understand that the Northwest resistance uh, was Indigenous people fighting for their rights to be able to maintain their rights. Uh, and so we felt that the time was right to bring it down as a part of our, you know, path of truth and reconciliation. However, when we were on site today, multiple people approached us to tell us they think the statue should stay. I think it could stay and put an explanation up and just say, you know, things were different then. And how does his family feel? Cisco says city staff will report back on what is the most respectful way to decommission the statue. He suggests moving it to Watson's grave site at Victoria Lawn Cemetery. If it can't, though, staff are going to determine what the most respectful way is to deal with it, uh, and they'll come back and report on that. City staff estimate the cost to remove the statue could reach around $60,000 which would come from the city's reserve fund. There are some things that we, some steps we just have to take that may have price tags attached to them, but if those steps are going to create a community where everybody feels welcome, then it's worth it. Cisco says there is no clear timeline to remove the statue, but ensures it will be gone by Indigenous Peoples Day next year on June 21st. Eric Vieno, CHCH News, St. Catharines.